Hi everybody, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I'm gonna make a uh, a cake stand. I call them cake stands because I can they're good for like cupcakes. Yeah. Cute little cupcakes put on them. I've made two of them so far. Uh, I made this one here. You can go back on my videos and see that one. It's real nice. Turned out beautiful. Just really happy with it. Um, so that one there is done. And then I changed actually this one to smaller, a smaller post. And I like it now for you know, little candies or something, I think would be really neat on here. This is my heart one. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to try something today and I don't know if this is going to work out or not, but if it doesn't, it's no biggie. Uh, that's the only way I have tried using the metallic alcohol ink before in resin, uh, but I just dipping it, you know, dripping it on there. And I have mixed it in, made a coaster one time that looked pretty cool. So hopefully this will work. I'm gonna be using the rich gold pinata. And then of course I'm gonna mix it in with some cast and craft. Okay. I'm gonna be using a little bit of the polyester glitter. Uh, it's the gold. I'm going to be using the premium quality clear epoxy resin, which is great for casting. It's also good for putting over your paintings a number of things, tabletops. Um, it's very good general use epoxy. And I do have a coupon code in my description all the time for that. So I got these coasters from Amazon. I will put the link in there. And you know how I make clocks and stuff. And I usually have to drill the holes. Well, I thought this would be great even for a clock I'm going to make. Real nice big one too. Jeez, it's probably about 10 inches round. So they're pretty big. And it comes with the thing for the hole in it already, which is awesome. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be using my bottles like I always do instead of baggies. But I tried to go ahead and use some the other day, reused them. And I squeezed out all the resin in the bottle as much as possible. And I cleaned the tip. The tip was fine, but it was the bottle that was hard because there was resin in it. It wouldn't squeeze. So I get these for a dollar at the dollar store. And I suppose they're just gonna have to be drained out and put in a recycle bin afterwards. That's, a lot of you might think that's wasteful, but that's I, not good with the piping bags yet. So hopefully these will be pretty. Well, here we go. So I thought I would show you all. I'll go ahead and I mix up quite a bit. Hopefully that should be enough for the coasters. And I use these, or the molds, and I use these containers and I can reuse them. Once it's dry, you just pull that resin right out. And I end up using a ruler because I have arthritis in my hands and it's just so much easier to do that. Or you could use a silicone stick. So I'm gonna go ahead and start to do for my flower figures. I think that's quite a bit actually probably too much but I'm gonna play it safe but these are pretty narrow shallow so and these casting craft you can get it um, Amazon also I give it a shake and they make it hard for it to come out on purpose because you don't need a lot of this so you really have to squeeze <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to put the casting craft in there first. I want to put about three drops. See how hard I'm pushing, squeezing? I'll put four in that one because that one's going to be my white. 
Let me give this a stir real quick. Just come on, a little cloudy white. That's all you need it, you know? You don't need it super, super white. Because then you don't get that wispy, pretty cloudy look. So it's pretty transparent. And I used a lot of resin on this one. This one's going to be for the gold. I'm going to stir that in real quick because I don't like them sitting. So there we go. So that one's done. Now let's see how this reacts. I do know if you dump this straight on top, like you would alcohol ink to make coasters, you know how you get that pretty alcohol coaster effect? It floats. But I'm gonna see what it does mixing it in here. I give it a nice little gold effect. It's barely gold, like just nothing. Heh, <laughs> so I sure hope this works. There, one, two, three, four. It's just barely coloring it. It's giving it a little metallic look. Oh, I want more. So, total of, what, 10 already? See, this is different than, metallic is always a little different. Looking kind of brownish. That's kind of okay. Don't want to add too much. Hmm. But I do want it to show up, so, <laughs> guess what? So I look like I just put like 20 total. <laughs> yeah, that's better. It's still kind of transparent looking. Okay, so here we go. And you don't need a lot of resin for your glitters. I mean very little. Because you want it thick. There we go, like pasty, you know? And then another one for my, I hope I'm in view. And don't worry about bubbles because you're gonna get those out of there. Okay. So, set that aside, and I'm ready to start. Oh, <laughs> no. I think I will. I'm going to let it come out first. Looks good right there on that one. And that one looks good too. That one looks a little fuller. That's good. I think I, it's hard for me to see. I look at the edges, you know. This one looks like it could use a little more. This one looks good, just like that one. So, I'm going to work on this one. 
with the remaining. There we go. That was a perfect amount. Now I'm gonna just heat up them to get them clear. Get the bubbles out to get it clear as possible. And then let it set for about five minutes before I start to put in my other stuff. I'm just going to pop the bubbles, but not real close to the edge. And then look at it from a side view, make sure there's no kitty hairs or something. And then let it set. Okay, so I'm happy with that. And here goes with the, I do have to turn my light back on. So I think I'm happy with that. I'm gonna draw them in. And I'm not gonna scrape the bottom. I'm gonna wipe my take off the tip each time I do this because I don't want that glitter to go back on the top.
bring it towards the center. I'm going to turn it around because my table is a little unlevel. Now, I'm not going to use my heat gun. I'm just going to go around here like this to pop the bubbles in that. Now I'm just going to check for kitty hairs, and that's it. Okay, I'm going to put these in the drying rack. We're done. I think what might be neat, too, around the edges of those is some glitter around the edges. So we'll see, and that's it. Stay tuned so we can see them hardened and unmold them. Okay. So I'm excited about seeing the bottoms. Uh, looking at them, uh, they look kind of, this is kind of big. This glitter just kept spreading on me. So obviously I put way too much. That was all that was to that. But it is looking really cool 3D. Uh, sometimes it don't show up 3D in the camera, but look at like, this looks like it's underneath and then on top of that one and then on top of that one and then this one here. So it's sort of like really cool looking. Anyway, so let's take a look. And you know what, it's okay if this is spread so much because you gotta remember this is gonna be like in there anyway. So I think it's gonna be really pretty. So let's take a look. We'll start with the small one first. <laughs> Fun part. Oh, it's been about, oh, 12 hours. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Isn't that neat? Oh. I can't take too much time up because I have to put this together and then gild the sides. So which side am I going to have? Let's see. You know what? This side. Most definitely that's going to be the top. Because that's the top one. Well, these are the top ones. So it's, it's totally 3D. Top, the next one, then underneath it. Like that. Totally cool. The metallic. So that worked out. Yeah, it worked. Super cool. So I was thinking, uh, I have four, I want to make four coasters to match this set since I'm loving it. And then I'll make a cheese board too. Because they're so easy, you know, you can duplicate them pretty easy, so. How cool I don't have to drill holes. How neat is that? That is so cool. I am so pleased with these. It's real clear, too. 
at that. Those are neat. Ain't that something? Just little circles. How easy to do. Yeah, it definitely has that 3D look this way. How cool is that? baby it's pretty big oh my goodness isn't that beautiful oh the bee oh, look at that one oh, a little different let me see that was the top Right, yeah. It's still cool though. This one have the more flat right here, you know. But it's still very awesome. That that is still cool. That's this side. Okay. Oh, that was neat. Yeah, this side for sure. Pretty. Right on. So I'm going to definitely put some gold gilding. I will show you what I'm going to put on there. I'll just show you. I had a little bit left in those bottles. So I threw them in there and swirled some rest of the glitter I had left over on the top. <laughs> it's pretty. Yeah, the bottom. And it didn't sink the um, glitter, so that's cool. That's neat. That'll look cool with that gilding on there, too. So... I was just thought I'd show you this part in case you've never done this. Um, like I'll always test something on it first, and then if I don't like it or I don't want anything, I'll just leave it alone, take it off with some alcohol. But you could use some gilding. You know, this is a real pretty. Uh, but it's harder for me to use that one because it takes painting. It's so much easier using this paint pen. It's a metallic craft smart paint pen. And then what I do when I'm done, after, you know, they completely are cured, then I'll just take a little bit of resin and run it around the sides so that it stays on permanently. But uh, they're very easy to do. And this looks real pretty with that rim. Let me turn this light off. Isn't that pretty? So, go where I left off right here. It's kind of nice because you can feel that the tip of the marker helps you. Just go along it. Real easy. Okay, that's how I'm going to do that. And then the sides, of course, you just paint them up. Okay, like that. And then I'll take resin and put them around the sides. But not today, I won't be doing that. I'm going to wait till they're completely, like three or four days. Then I'll do the resin part. Okay, so I went ahead and... Did the sides, of course, like I will um, put resin around here very lightly just to permanently adhese those, that gilding, so it never comes off. Isn't that pretty? I put little feet on there. That's <laughs> pretty cool. I'm glad I did this one. 
I hope we're getting a pretty picture. I should take these outside, you know, and do it that way, but uh, I always end up getting poor lighting too. And I even paint these little washers so they match. So you could do a two thingy if you wanted to. And they always don't look, it doesn't look, when you look at these through a camera, uh, <laughs> it doesn't look like the top one's small. You know what, I forgot to put one underneath there. Well, it's okay. So I'm gonna take it apart anyway and leave them flat for a couple days. There she is. Very nice, too. With the, it's not real tight, but that is so pretty. Oh, my gosh. I wish you guys could see this in person. Let me take this down. Oh, my gosh. Isn't that beautiful? That's so cool. So there it is. <laughs> I can't wait to make coasters for it and a cheese board. Well, I sure hope you're all are getting a pretty look of this. And thank you for watching. I know it's a long video. That's why I'm trying to go quick. <laughs> So I will catch y'all later. Have a wonderful day or evening, whatever it is might be for you. Okay, bye-bye now.